So I'm here at the Universal Remote Control CD display where we've just introduced the Universal Remote Control Lighting by Lutron. So I'm here with my good friend, Matthew Ingram. Am I good? But how are you, Matt? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Good. Good, good. I got this thing down. Good. Okay, so, so Matt, Matt wants to know how it is that we're going to program the lighting, and it's actually very simple. First thing we're going to do is in your configuration software, in your editor software, you're going to create a device. Yes. You're going to, have to do the device thing. Oh, yes. The device will be lighting. You'll drag in universal remote control. And what will pop up is your ability to en enter in an address. You'll enter in an address, and poof, you will get a screen that will look something like that where you will see full on, full off, bright and dim, and you'll have eight scenes. Eight scenes, okay. Eight scenes. Like that. Then we will go over to the dimmers that we've installed. Now bear in mind, these are all retrofit dimmers. These are yes. built by Lutron, these are the Meister, these are top notch, at least certainly the best dimmers in the market, wouldn't you agree? Oh yes, Matt, Matt knows, far. he knows. So, what we do is we go and we want to address them. So, Matt, you need to hold this microphone for a minute here. You got it. Because you need two, two hands. hands. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold this dimmer. The dimmer goes up, light goes up, and it's for eight seconds. And the reason we want to wait eight seconds is we don't want any of the young ones in the house to come in and unprogram a uh, scene. So you see what's happening now, the way the, the LED is moving up and down. Yes. It's ready to be, a, be addressed. We keep holding that button. I then take my remote control here, and while I'm holding the dimmer button down, I press and hold full on. Watch what the LEDs do. That's it. We've now addressed it. All we need to do at this point is we go to each of the dimmers, lamp dimmers, or switches in the house, do the same thing, repeat the same function, and they are all now addressed so that we can hit all off. I'm pointing. This is FRF. We don't have to point, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, you knew that. Okay, I got a question for you, Matt. How do you spell RF? Uh... We're going to get to the hard questions later on. Sorry, man. Okay. I wasn't in the class <laughs> earlier. I don't know. Okay, very good. All right. So. Now that we've got all these things responding to a single button, when we loaded up the software, you notice that it said scenes one through scene eight. eight yes. And of course, as a good custom installer, you wouldn't do what I did, and you would rename them, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. Okay. Movie, all right. Be dark, you know, read or whatever. Absolutely. Any RF, you know, any one of those. <laughs> Matt gets it. It's a good sport. All right. So let's just say scene one is cooking, and when we hit the scene one button, this is cooking. Every one of these scene buttons, even if I didn't go and program the scene, they're all going to respond and do something, although most likely not exactly what I want it to do. So what I'm going to do is, for cooking, this is not how I want it. It's exact opposite. I want to dim the level of the dining area. Uh, which one is which? There we go. Um, and I want to bring up the level over the cooktop, which is right here. And maybe bring this level up to this point here. And I say, you know what? That is the perfect level. Beautiful scene. Isn't it? And so now that I've got that set, I can capture it simply by pressing and holding the scene button right here for eight seconds. And again, the reason we do this for eight seconds is so that you can't accidentally change or erase something. And that's it. It is now stored. So watch what happens. I go full on. I go to this, my cooking scene. Voila. PFM. Oh, yes. Nobody else can do that. That's for sure. So the beauty here, Matt, is when the customer calls me at 11 o'clock, goes, Mitch, get your ass out here. I know you programmed it the way I told you to, yes. but it's not working right. We know we can tell the customer. What do we tell them? That they can do it on their own. Bingo. And there you have it from the show floor at CDX. So with my buddy, Matt, thank you, man. Good thank you very much.